Financial freedom. Okay, so it all depends. Being rich is relative. 
All right, so he said 100 million, she said a billion, she said financially free. Now, if it only takes her $4,000 to live on, but she's making $6,000, she's financially free. Mm -hmm. All right, to her, that's rich. All right, mm -hmm. rich, and what is wealthy? What's the difference? Anybody know the difference between rich and wealthy? wealthy? It's, I think wealthy is what sets the certain people apart from the rich because it's a more um, like, like luxurious lifestyle. Okay, that's a good definition. I've seen that hand over here. Wealthy than financially stable. All right, wealthy, financially stable. Anybody else? <coughs> wealthy than the kids, like you can have money when you have a family, whatever. Okay, very good. Last one. Have so much money that you have some left over. All right, so much money that you have left over. So wealthy is different from rich. Rich mm -hmm. is measured by the amount that you have, but wealth is measured by time. All right, wealth is measured by time. So if I have a hundred thousand dollars in the bank right now but I don't have any money coming in, by the time I spend $100,000, I'm back what? Broke. Broke, all right? That's why you find so many football players, celebrities, athletes, if you look on Celebrity Network, they're already broke because they spend all their money. Now wealth is gonna keep going by time, all right? So if you have $100 million, but you have very rich kids that like spending money, then your wealth is gonna be depleted. But if you have wealth, that generates money over and over. Anybody know what that's called when you have money that just comes? Passive income. Passive income, exactly. Passive income is money that you don't have to work for. That's why I like the laundromat. I don't have to go there every day. I can just look at my cameras, see who's in there, see who put money in, and boom, passive income. That's what's gonna make you wealthy, all right? That's what's gonna be the difference between you working your job and you being able to live on the beach while money is coming to you, all right? So. With all that said, I want you to kind of define a couple things today, all right? I want you to understand that with money, they say, now how many, what, what percent of the world is rich and wealthy? Anybody know what percent? One percent. One percent. One percent. If you ever watch YouTube or any of those videos, or anybody ever heard of E.T., Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, all right, he says he want to be a part of the 1%. 1% of the world is rich and wealthy. Anybody here me? Okay, well, I thought one of the 1% was me. All right, so 1% is rich and wealthy, all right? I know it looks on Instagram that a lot of people are rich and wealthy, but a lot of people are faking, okay? I had a student, right? He showed a picture of Instagram. He had money all down his arm, both sides. I was like, man, he doing good. Then he called me two days later, said, Mr. Davis, let me borrow $100. I said, I just saw you on Instagram stunting. You got a brand new tattoo, you got some brand new J's, and you have money down your arm. Oh, Mr. Davis, that wasn't my money. <laughs> Don't believe what you see, all right? Because it's all fake. All right, even the celebrities. I read a, a, um, a post that said Lil Wayne is not even close to what they say he has. They say he has 100 million, he said he's not even close to that. This is Lil Wayne, been in the game for over 20 years. So don't believe everything you see or hear, okay? Now, uh, we're gonna do a couple things today, but I wanna kinda set the stage for what we're gonna do, all right? Uh, they also say that if they took all the money in the world and split it to everybody. Would y'all like that? No. They took all the money. Y'all would like that? They took all the money and split it between all of us? Yeah. I thought y'all would. All y'all get a piece of the profit. It's too many of us. It's not too many of us. It's more money in the world than people. It's more money in the world than people. I mean, Elon Musk is worth how much? 138? 200 now? 200 billion. You know how many people on the planet? Nine. Nine billion people. That means we all become instant billionaires if they split the money evenly. Question? But then, but then the value of the coins drop. Not necessarily. So to your point, all right. They said they took all the money in the world and split it between everybody. Over time, the money would go all the way back to all the rich people. Because they know what to do. They know what to do with it. So you got to ask yourself a question. Once I start making this money, I know a lot of people say they want to be rich. A lot of people say they're going to be rich. A lot of people say they want to be wealthy. A lot of people say they're going to be wealthy. 
You have to decide on today where do you fall. Are you a big spender where you're going to take all your money from your paycheck and it's gone the next week? All right. Or are you going to be the one who is responsible, fiscally responsible with what they're doing, what they have? All right. There's no way I can run four businesses if I'm constantly spending out all my money. All right. Anybody know what investment is? All right. Anybody know what an asset is? What's an asset? Exactly. They're not frozen, but they are assets. All right. Um, does anybody define what a liability is? Something that costs you money. They're very good. So two things you need to know if you don't learn anything else today. These two things. All right. Number one, what an asset is. An asset put money in your pocket. All right, what does it do? All right, a liability takes money out of your pocket. What does the asset do? I mean, a liability do? If you get a brand new car, right? What is that? Liability. When you buy a brand new car and rent it out, what is it? That's it. You see how that works? You buy a brand new car just to stunt. You got you buying a liability. You buy a brand new car and rent it out. Uber, Lyft, whatever you want to do. It becomes instantly an asset. It can make you money. You can rent your car out to Uber. All right. Now we're gonna go through a couple things. I know we 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 kind of stuck on time, but I'm gonna try to move through this as quick as possible. All right. So Easel. All right. My company is called Payment Faith. I'll do my Payment Faith intro so you can know you know how we run things. All right. So like we said, we believe that you can do all things. All right. Our company believes that you can do all things. We want you to believe you can do all things as well. All right, we're a motivational painting company. We take this whole setup and we take it to different locations every single day. Not just me, but all the people that work for me as well. I have classes going on right now, Palm Beach, Broward, and even in Miami. Then we're gonna do another round after school. All right, so I built this company from 2014 and it's still running pretty good, all right? It allowed me to retire from being a teacher from Booker T. Washington Senior High. So. It's been a blessing and I created an asset for my gift. All right, not only that, but we also believe that there is no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. All right, so we don't believe in mistakes when you're doing art, just a new opportunity. And we can apply that to our life as well. Now, to make sure we all on the same page, I need y'all to repeat after me, all right? Y'all ready? If I believe. If I believe. All right, when, when, when I ask you to say this, I want you to say it like you mean it, okay? If I believe. If I believe. I can achieve. I can achieve. Try one more time. If I believe. If I believe. I can achieve. I can achieve. Now sometimes in life you're gonna have some haters. You're gonna have some people that tell you, you can't do this. You're not tall enough. You're not strong enough. You're not skinny enough. You're not big enough. Whatever it is. But I need you to say to yourself, if I believe, I can achieve. So you can push through that situation. All right. You gotta get past those haters. The next thing is, we gotta take all the negativity out of our space. All right. So when I'm in the space, I don't allow negativity to be around me. All right, when I had my own class at Booker T, if kids came in negative, they had to leave, all right? Uh, and I taught for 14 years, so that way I keep peace in my classroom and with my students. Now, in order to get away the negativity in my classes, I need everybody to snap their fingers. All right, so everybody snap. Now what we're snapping for is we're gonna snap out all the negativity. So when things are the negative, like, I can't do this, this is hard, you're gonna snap out the negativity. If you say something like, you know, this is complicated, I don't feel this right now, I want you to snap out the negativity. And then I want you to look to your left or your right. If somebody next to you say something negative, I want you to snap, snap, snap out the negativity. All right, everybody got that? All right, so that's how we run our class, all right? Now, we're going to break down all the pieces of doing an art class, all right? This is called an easel. Everybody say easel. Easel. All right, the easel represents your why in your life. All right? Your why is the thing that you're doing everything for. Okay, we ask the question, who's going to be rich, who's going to be wealthy, who's going to be successful? Why is the question. The easel is your why. Why do you want to be rich? Just so you can stop. Why do you want to be wealthy? If you're only doing it for the money, it's not going to last long. You need to do it for your why. Because you 
have kids. I know most of you in high school, so we shouldn't be talking about that, but right. we have kids. <laughs> our wives will be our kids. Maybe you want to take care of your mom because she struggled to put you through everything she's been putting you through, or your dad, or your uncle, or your grandma. You want to see your grandma have a better life. You want to buy your mom a house, a new car. Those are your wives. Your passion is to change the world for people who are less fortunate. That is your why. That's your easel. All right? Now, the next part is your paint. All right? I didn't pass up the paint yet. But your paint is your opportunity. All right? So you want to be able to see your why, and you want to be able to create opportunities with it. All right? Every time you tip, dip your brush inside of a paint, you're creating a new opportunity, all right? So opportunities mean that when something comes your way, you take it. One year, I had to take a whole year of yes. Anybody ever heard a movie called Yes Man? Yep. All right, it's a movie by Jim Carrey. He had he got hypnotized, and every time somebody asked him something, he automatically had to say yes. Before that, he was a very negative person. But when he realized saying yes to everything, new opportunities kept opening up for him. So I took a year of yes. Shepherds, can you draw this for me? Yes. Shepherds, can you take me over here? Yes. Shepherds, can you do this for me? Yes. I said yes to everything. And you know what that did? It made me a lot of money. Because when you're doing stuff for people, you're planting seeds. All right? And the best thing about seeds is they say you, you reap what you sow. All right? What you plant, you'll get back. But that's not true. All right? If I plant one apple seed... How many apples am I going to get out of it? One whole tree. So it's not about planting one seed. It's about being able to grow what you plant. So when I sold it to all those people by saying yes, I was able to grow many trees, which also equal many dollars. All right? The next thing is your brush. Everybody got a brush? Yeah. All right, everybody hold a brush. If you don't have a brush, I'll get you one. You need one? All right, your brush is your faith. All right, your brush is your faith. So if your life is a canvas, all right, and your brush is your faith, you can take the brush, you can mix it with opportunity, and you can be able to begin to paint a life that changes you, all right? The next thing I want you to realize is that faith is one of the most powerful things that you're gonna have into your life. Because it's gonna be the thing that pushes you past your weakness. All right? A lot of people say they have faith, but it's going to be put to a test. Faith is the only spiritual muscle that you can have. All right? It's the only thing that you can build by, by being able to exercise it. All right? Faith is not something that you can see, but it's something you should all have. All right? The next thing is your water. Everybody got water on the table. All right? I didn't put a lot because we did a lot of moving around, and if all the movement would happen, we would have water all over the table. All right? So, but the water is forgiveness, all right? Why is that important, Mr. Davis? Why is forgiveness is important? Because number one, if you can't forgive people, you can't grow, all right? If you can't forgive people, you can't grow. And what's important is most people, they say that cancer comes from people being unforgiving because you won't let stuff go. Yeah, so what happens in the spiritual realm would affect you physically. So if you can't forgive, you can be able to perform cancer into your body because your body will recognize the negativity that you're holding on the inside. The worst thing about unforgiveness is that it only bothers you. It doesn't bother the person that you hate. It doesn't bother the person that you cross. All right? So a lot of times people have already let go what they did to you, and you still holding on to it. So the water is forgiveness. So as we paint today, just remember... When you clean your brush off, you got to be able to forgive. Not only the people around you, but most of all, forgive yourself. All right, why is it important to forgive yourself? Because we make mistakes often. We're human. It's part of being human. And as you make mistakes, you may look in the mirror and say, damn, I'm so dumb. I'm stupid for going, up, going after him. I'm stupid for being with her. But I need you to let that go and forgive yourself and move past it. The cloth that you have on your table... That's redemption. What is redemption? What is redemption? Anybody? Anybody know what redemption is? What is redemption? Can you redeem yourself? From being saved? 
being saved, you said, mm-hmm. was being able to come back. All right? Some of you may have had a lot of bad things happen to you, or bad things are going to happen to you. Mm-hmm. But it's your comeback that's most important. They always say your setup, setback is your setup for your comeback. Mm-hmm. All right? And it's important for you, once you forgive yourself, to come back. You can think about people who's been out the game for a long time and they come back. Now they make you great movies, all right? Now they're back on the court. You see uh, Kobe got hurt, he had a comeback. Michael Jordan got hurt, come back. LeBron just got hurt, now he in the playoffs. It's important that you realize that the redemption is important for your comeback. All right, so the watch law or the towel is gonna represent your redemption. <laughs> They say success, success is attracted by the person that you become, all right? So as you grow, as you have a job, as you go to school, you shouldn't be asking the question, what are they doing for me here, all right? You shouldn't be asking the question, what am I getting out of this? The question should be is, who am I becoming from this experience? When you go to a job, don't think about what you can get from the job. Think about what you're going to become from the job. As soon as I went to fire academy, all right? I had a very rough situation when I got married. I lost my job that same year, all right? So at that point, I went broke. I had no money left, okay? I was empty. Bank account, negative. Credit cards, maxed out, all right? And this is this was my comeback story. And so I said, you know, I always wanted to be a firefighter. Let me go to firefighter school. So I went to firefighter school. I completed it, all right? I'm ready to be a firefighter, and then I got a call. All right, remember what we said about opportunity. I got a call, hey, Mr. Davis, you want to be an art teacher? I said, I'll take this opportunity. I became an art teacher. All right, one thing I want you to understand, if you want to make more money, you got to become more of a leader. All right, so I said yes to the opportunity. Became an art teacher at Homestead Senior High, but it was too far. But while I was there, another opportunity came. A guy said, hey, do you want to be a coach of a um, wrestling team? I said, yeah, I'll take that opportunity. I got moved to another school. All right, then they gave me another position as a lead art instructor, all right? And so the opportunities kept going. Now, if I had said no to all those opportunities, I wouldn't be with you today because each opportunity led me to a better opportunity. So saying yes matters as you go through the process. Now, I want you to understand, uh, from this point, I was able to retire from teaching and just run my own business at this particular point. So when you think about uh, what you're doing in life, I want you to understand that your life is the canvas, all right? The brush is your faith. The water is gonna be your forgiveness, all right? The towel is gonna be your redemption. The easel is bigger than the canvas because it holds all the things together. Whether you live or die, you wanna be able to leave a legacy. That easel is your legacy. The easel will still stand even though you don't have a canvas at this point, point in time. So I want you, as you go through your life, remember all the things that I'm saying, but as we go through this painting, also remember the things that I'm saying. All right, do you have any questions? No. 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 <laughs> now, last thing, I want you to all know that we're all born winners, all right? We're all born winners, okay? Even from the very beginning, we won. That's the reason that we're here today. saying everything I'm saying don't mean I wasn't doubtful at some point. Alright? Doubt will come. But it's important that you have the faith to do what you said you was going to do. Alright? When I left teaching, I was very nervous. I was very scared. But yeah. uh, but what I had to realize is that I had a goal. Alright? And once you set your goal, it's important that you push past yourself to be able to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Uh, did I know how to run a business? Absolutely not. Did I know how to run a class? Absolutely not. Did I fail a, a lot? Yes, All right, if you want to know a person that failed the most, look at me. I'm a failed champion, all right? I'm a master at failing. But what you got to realize is like, but you gotta realize your failure will teach you all the lessons you need to learn to take you to the next level. Alright? Uh, uh,
anybody know who uh, Thomas Edison is?
Mm -hmm. Oh, very important. Very important. Make sure y'all follow us. Thank you. All right. One more minute. One more all right before you clean your brush off all right before you clean your brush off what do you get when you mix red and yellow so what I want you to do, so I'm not your so I'm I want you to just open up your red and get a little bit of red. Open up your red and get a little bit of red. Open up your red and get a little bit of red. Alright, we're gonna pop over the red. Alright. We're gonna take the red. And we're just gonna make a red line at the top. Alright. Only one stroke. Alright, don't keep it red. Just do it one stroke. One stroke. Alright, one line of red. You don't need to read this. Just do the red one time. Don't no, don't brush, rip your brush off. Oh, All right. Just one yellow. stroke of red. From that, we're going to blend the red right into the yellow. All right? So don't add any more red to your brush. You're going to blend it down into the yellow. So it fades. All right? All right, you're going to fade it. All right, do not add any more red to your brush. Allow the yellow and the red to work together to make a nice orangey color. All right, a nice blend. Now, when you blend two colors together and make up here nails, it's called ombre. All right, art is called a, a green. All right, go all the way from end to end. All right, you want to just close it up. Alright, you're creating new opportunities, no mistakes. Alright. Alright, somebody snap out the negative. Thank you. Alright. Once you've got that nice ombre greeny look, how did you look at you can go about halfway. All right, once you finish, go ahead and clean your brush off. All right, once you finish, clean your brush off. You go ahead and open up blue. All right. We're going to take the blue and we're running short on time, so I'm going to kind of speed up a little bit. So we're going to fill the second half blue. Second half, the bottom half. All the way to the bottom, yep. Yes, it is. What's the problem? What did you do? All right, so again, what's the easy call? What does that represent? Your why. Your why. Very good. The canvas is what? Your why. Your life. Your brush is what? Your face. Wait, I thought you said the whole bottom blue. The whole bottom, yeah. The whole bottom. But you don't want to see the blue. No, I can't get it. Every time you dip inside the paint, that's a new opportunity. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of opportunity. Why 
you need this swirls too. <laughs> Line 
talks about giving an opportunity. All right? I always say the most powerful nation in the world is your imagination. So what is the you want to be creative? That's why that's why I'm giving you this this stuff. So you can take it into it. Alright, here we go. Everybody up this way, we'll do this real quick. I gotta respect the next speaker's time. I'm gonna do lines. Follow my lead. I'll repeat after what I say. Everybody, I'm gonna go to the right, everybody say right. Right. Alright, go. Line to the right. All right, from the middle, from the middle. All right, we're going to the left. Everybody say left. Left. Boom, left. From the middle, from the middle. We're going up. Everybody say up. Up. Boom, up. All right, from the middle, we're going up again. Everybody say up. Up. Boom, up. All right, from the middle, we're going down. Everybody say down. 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 Last one. From the middle, we're going down again. Everybody say down. Down. Boom. All right, we're getting tree. Last step, last step. We're gonna pull down from each branch. All right, we're gonna pull, pull down from each branch. All right, very quick, short lines. All right, we're just gonna snatch, 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 snatch. All right, we're gonna snatch, snatch, snatch. Very short lines. Don't go up and down, just pull down. All right, not up and down, just pull down. Oh, yeah, y'all treat like this. This is the background. Right. <laughs> last part, guys, as we finish up. Yeah, what was it? Right. As we finish up. As we finish up. As we end each class with a song, all right? All right, so I just need y'all to repeat after me. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. Here we go. We're going to say it slow and we're going to put some rhythm on it. Okay. Let's repeat after me. I know I can. I know I can. Paint what I want to paint. Paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I don't know the way. I can paint with faith. I can paint with faith. Keep it going. I know I can. I know I can. Paint what I want to paint. Paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, if I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. I can paint with faith. Last time I know I can. I know I can. Paint what I want to paint. Paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, if I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. I can paint with faith. Hey guys, go ahead and put your signature at the bottom. Put your initials or your signature. I appreciate the time and attention. All right, we're going to slide our way up. Very good. Excellent job. Just slide at the bottom. Take it with you. All right, remember, you're last. Your life is a canvas. Your life is a canvas. Thank you. 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 Thank
You see this, miss? She got a job, bro.